It's the inconvenient truth about unemployment in America. Business owners now saying the government is making it too expensive to hire anyone. From regulation to rising taxes, is Uncle Sam the real reason why so many Americans are still out of work? And Democrats say the economy is the reason no one is hiring, but listen to what one business owner just told FBN this week. I was just shocked by the numbers when they were all pulled together. I had no idea that to put uh, 44000 in cash and $12,000 uh, in benefits uh, in the hands of one of my employees, I have to write checks for $74,000. Okay, now Wayne, you're a business owner. Is this guy right? Yes, he's absolutely right. I, I got the proof right here. This is one of our employees. Cost us $65,757 to deliver to her $35,338 in discretionary income. And that means she gets $53,000 in gross income. But after Social Security, federal tax, medical flex, state tax, disability insurance, etc. Her deductions take her down to the 35000 and it costs us, and for the employer, it costs us for the training, health insurance, disability, health insurance being the main, biggest one, federal, state, unemployment insurance, another $8,290. Yes, it's outrageous. And, and Joe said something very interesting when he, when he mentioned about in, the, in these defined benefit plans mm -hmm. for public employees. When you have a defined benefit plan that you have to give to your employees, it's costing you a bloody fortune. And they've got to change these entitlement programs in some way. Otherwise, we can never create jobs in the way we need to. Christian, I, I want to get you to respond to this. I mean, the numbers are right there. Mm -hmm. Wayne just showed them to us. Yeah, but it, this has actually gotten cheaper for employers during this recession. Uh, you know, you have How? employer costs for compensation, which have only increased by $1.60 over the last two and a half years. Really slow wage growth. This is on top Say of what? a period Christian. from 2000 to Christian. 2007. Come please on. allow me to Christian, please allow me please allow no, me to finish. I can't, you cannot go on with this. It makes no sense. And the worst uh, is Tracy, it's just I'm, going I'm to get truth. higher. It's going to Tracy, get worse. Tracy, Medical Tracy, expenses there is not are going to kick single in. Example that up. you can point to where under the Obama administration costs for employers have gotten higher. In fact, they've gotten lower. We've had a tax credit which has been implemented for new hires where you exempt employers from paying okay. social security tax. So for anyone to claim that their costs have gone up is a complete fabrication. Jonathan, I mean, the no again, I go back to the numbers were there with Wayne. The numbers were there out of this businessman that talked to Fox Business. But how have those numbers changed? Got how have they gotten well, worse? Well, government... They haven't. Well, Jonathan. government... Government is a cost to business. I mean, Christian is uh, all these business owners. I mean, I don't know how many folks you necessarily employ, but all these uh, businesses have pointed out it costs a lot of money to create those jobs. If you keep talking about it's the economy, it's the economy. Well, the economy is made up of of business owners and the government state. I mean, it costs seventy seven thousand dollars to pay somebody forty two. Where's those thousands of dollars go? It, it goes to government. Especially and that's the Joe, cost when you've got to to especially Joe, wealth. when you've got a rough environment out there, an uncertain economy out there. Oh, well, this is amazing because at both ends, if you're a high wage earner with a Cadillac health care plan, they're going to tax it. Right. And in a recession, when people need jobs, you raise the minimum wage. That's not a way to get people to work again. So clearly the government is gumming this up, too. All right. Well, I tell you what, this is a great discussion. I do want to thank Mr. Christian Dorsey once again for joining us. It's always great to have you, Christian. Bye-bye. All right. That